Good morning, everyone. I don't think we have any plans today. Um, it's gonna be a pretty chill day. I think we might just go do some door dashing. The wind was brutal yesterday. Look what it did. God damn it. Before we get up and start doing things, I'm actually going to change the thumbnail of yesterday's video. This is the thumbnail I used, it's a butterfly, but apparently people aren't clicking on that as much. I think that's because I'm not in the picture. Um, you guys seem to click on videos that I'm in more than pictures that butterflies are in. So we're going to change the thumbnail and hope the video does a little bit better. I think we're going to change the thumbnail to this guy after I edit it a little bit. There we go. It's a picture of me, it's got butterflies on it. I think that this will do better than the picture of the actual butterfly. Getting up in the morning is honestly really hard because it's cold outside. My heated blanket right here, this keeps it warm inside my sleeping bag. I don't like waking up. Mm. Someone gave me an idea about my sock situation. What I gotta do, wear the dirty socks to go to the trunk to get the clean socks rather than walking around barefoot. I'm thinking we're gonna do a white sweater today. <laughs> Having tinted windows is great. Yeah, so I don't think we have anything planned today. I think the only thing that I want to do is do a little bit of door dashing. Um, I wanna start reading more too. Like I have my Kindle, I just don't read all that often, but it's a Sunday, so I feel like I should. I feel like I should sit somewhere, get like an iced tea, and read for a couple of hours. And then the dirty clothes go in the dirty clothes hamper. Ah, God damn it, I need to replace these things. The struts that keep my trunk up, when they're cold, they don't have as much compression and the trunk just falls down. If I replace them, my trunk will stay open when I open it. This is how you should always start your morning. Good morning, everybody. This is what we're gonna have for breakfast. These are blueberry waffles surrounding a sausage, and they're actually really good. Yeah, it's like a blueberry pancake and a sausage all rolled up into one. Hello. You too, thank you. This seems like a pretty good eating spot. Mmm. Let's go do some door dashing. Apparently I am not in a busy place right now, so we need to navigate to a place that is busier. Well, I mean, that makes sense. It's a truck stop. It wouldn't be very busy here. We're now in downtown Columbus. Now I guess we just wait for orders to come through. Funny enough, they are not giving me the option to work hourly anymore. I'm looking at the stats for the video with the thumbnail that I changed earlier. Look at how the click-through rate just spikes up. This is what people were clicking on when it was a butterfly. This is what they click on when it's my face. So I definitely need to keep my face in the thumbnails. We got a DoorDash order for $8, so that's cool. Apparently the place we're going to is called Bob Evans. I've never heard of Bob Evans before. I have no idea what kind of food they even serve. But it's in the same parking lot as Wendy's, so I'm assuming it's like fast food of some sort. Bob Evans. It seems like it's more like a Denny's than it is a McDonald's. Thank you, and then the drinks are in the bag, okay? Fantastic, thank you very much. I like that they actually made me confirm that I am the one that got this DoorDash delivery, so I couldn't just like walk up in there and steal somebody else's food. They are about two miles away. Okay, so I'm super not allowed to park here, but we're going to park here anyway. <laughs> Complete delivery steps. Oh, they tipped me $5. They are so nice. I'm just gonna chill in this parking spot until I get my next order. I got another order. They're only paying $2 for this one. Oh yay, another order got added to it. So now I'm doing two deliveries from the same restaurant. There we go. 
Go get some orders. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to park there. Bagels. Yikes. A DoorDash order for Rachel G. Awesome, let me check on that. Apparently it's not the same store. We're picking up this next order from Town Hall. It's basically in the same place though, so that's cool. A DoorDash order for Ali G. Thank you very much. Now let's go deliver them. I think we're delivering the bagel person stuff first. Okay. Next up, we have the town hall person. They're only like two minutes away. It bothers me a little bit when they're in apartment complexes because now I need to go hunt for them out of all of the buildings here. I need to figure out which one is theirs. Ugh. We've got another order for 425. We'll accept that. Luckily, or I guess conveniently, it's only two minutes away. Literally took me two minutes to get there. That's great. Drunch. <laughs> looks like the customer is two miles away though. Okay, serious question. How did pizza delivery drivers actually be able to get to everybody's houses before they had like GPS on their phone? I would not be able to do this if my phone didn't tell me exactly where I need to go. Like 1980s pizza delivery people, they, they don't get enough credit for what they were able to do. Okay, where are we? Where are we going? There you go. Thank you. I was, I was reading your thing, it's like the light pole next to the street. I'm like, what? Where am I? Have a nice day. Okay, so it looks like we've made $14 on this dash so far. We have been doing this for two hours. That means that we are earning $7 an hour. We are earning less than minimum wage. Oh wait, no, it just updated. We've earned $18.25 on this run. That means we were earning about $9 an hour. I understand now why they did not give me the option to work hourly. This little side gig would be so much more profitable if I had like a Toyota Prius or something, because I would say that all of that, all of the money that we made door dashing today is just gonna go right back into gas so that we can door dash some more. Like I've, a, I've not the most fuel efficient engine and it needs premium gas, so Together, they make door dashing not great. But I did say that today I want to read, so let's go find a coffee shop and chill for a couple hours. Yeah, you can see I get like 25 miles per gallon. If I had something like a Toyota Prius, I could get 40, 45 miles per gallon. McDonald's is basically a coffee shop. They've got, they sell coffee and they'll let you chill there for a while. It would also be cool to be able to bring all of my battery packs and stuff in and charge them while I'm there. But I'm gonna scope it out first to make sure that it's like a good McDonald's. We've got outlets. Yeah, super chill. And because I've got all of those points, I'm able to get a large, I'm able to get a large frappe for free. Totally free. I went ahead and got my stuff out of the car. Let's go plug everything in and charge it up. Oh my God, this is still charging. I've been here for like three hours and this is a fast charger. This is going on like 60 watts and it's still charging. Apparently they're closing their lobby and I'm getting kicked out. Plus side though, the sun is out and it's not very windy so we can break out the solar panel again. Again, this is one of those things I was considering not putting in the vlog, but whatever. So yesterday when I had my solar panel out, it got blown around a bunch and the wire that was plugged into it broke. So we need to repair this wire. We're going to take this wire and we're going to take this sacrificial wire. We're gonna splice them together so I can actually run my solar panel up to the battery pack. Again, I was not going to include this in the vlog, but whatever. There are three things we're gonna need for this repair job. We're going to need wire cutters, we're going to need uh, electrical tape or heat shrinking tape, and we're going to need a razor blade to cut the sheathing. Pliers, check. This little box right here is my uh, electrical box. It's got all my electrical stuff in it, like wire and heat shrink, stuff like this. Heat shrink, we're good on that. Now all we need is a razor blade. And boom, razor blade, we're good. The first thing we've got to do is we've got to chop off the bad part of this wire. Take the wire cutter part of your pliers, chop it off. Now we're going to take the razor blade, we're going to cut this down and cut all of the sheathing off of the wire. Inside this there's two smaller wires, there's a red one and a black one, so there's two sets of sheathing that we've got to cut. There you go, you can see the two individual wires right here. You got the red and the black one, now we're just going to cut each of these down. 
There you go, perfect. The black one and then the red one are spliced now. Now we're gonna take our sacrificial wire, we're going to pull out the part that we need, and we're going to cut it down like right here so we can splice the new head onto the existing wire. Same thing as before, cut the big outer black wire out, or black plastic off. Then you take the red and the black from the sacrificial wire, and you connect them to the red and the black from the old original wire, and then you've got a good complete wire. A fun trick that I learned is to cut the two wires at different lengths so that the two of them cannot touch, so that even if there is a shorting situation, this wire is too short to touch the red one, so they won't ever short out. Take the two black wires, connect them to themselves. We're just gonna do a regular twisty thing. This doesn't need to be super strong. Because of the way that we cut this, there is no way that these two wires will ever accidentally touch each other and short out. To where this is a really good way to do it. Take the heat shrink and slide it up the wire to where the whole thing is protected. And then we're gonna take a flame and then we're gonna make this small. The thing is, I don't actually carry matches or anything like that. The only kind of open flame that I actually have, um, you guys will remember from an earlier video, is my butane stove. This is the only open flame that I actually have, is the stove and the camping thing from earlier. So we're just gonna connect these, screw it on, light it. Oof. Oof. Then we're gonna take our wire, we're gonna put it over top of this and shrink it down. Perfect. There we go, we have successfully repaired our broken wire. Now we're just gonna put this back before I light my car on fire. Yeah, it's cooled down enough, probably. Let's go ahead and hook it up to our solar panel. We are getting 32 watts of power. So that means that we are getting about half as much electricity from the solar panel as we were getting from the outlet in McDonald's. I'm just gonna keep reading, honestly. We have the sun for a couple hours. I literally, there's literally a homeless dude over there driving around with a sawzall. I think he's trying to steal catalytic converters. You guys can't see him, I can't zoom in, but I'm just gonna watch him. I can't say for certain if he's homeless, and I can't say for certain if he's stealing catalytic converters, but he looks hella homeless, and he has one of those like battery powered sawzalls in his backpack on his bike. He is standing in front of a door at the hotel. I think he's possibly waiting for somebody to come out of the hotel. Oh yeah, sorry, there's a hotel right across the street from the McDonald's over there. I wonder if he comes over. <laughs> He's gonna be disappointed if he comes and tries to steal mine. <laughs> the homeless guy went into the hotel room. It looks like there's three people there. One guy is standing out in front of the door like watching, keeping guard of some sort. I do not want to spend the night in that hotel. Like, oh, homeless guy's on the move again. Homeless guy's on the move again. He's going behind the hotel. I think he's going off onto the road. I think that's probably a good sign that it's time for us to leave. Hey Google, take me to the nearest Walmart. Oh, and I bet Walmart will have really fast Wi-Fi so I can upload this video easier tonight. Walmart is my comfort place. This is where I go whenever I'm trying to do like extensive car work because I know that whatever tools I need, I can just get them there. They've got food, restrooms, Wi-Fi. Some Walmarts, they restrict you to where they won't let you park overnight, but most of them are fine with it. Actually, we're going to come over here, I think. Now that we're here, I'm actually gonna hook my solar panel back up, except I'm gonna put it on the back right here because this is kind of black. If I put the solar panel across, I feel like it'll blend in pretty well. And like my chances of having it stolen are a little bit diminished. I'm worried about that a lot. Now I'm gonna put my solar panel up and then I'm gonna come back and it's gonna be stolen. I hope that vocalizing that doesn't jinx it. Yeah, so something kind of like that. That's kind of, that's kind of nondescript. You wouldn't be able to tell that there's a solar panel there from afar, probably. Only problem is my cable doesn't reach. So I think I'm gonna move the battery pack to the trunk. Yeah, we'll just put him in here and then plug it into the port right there. So I'm gonna go inside Walmart. I'm gonna leave that there and hope that it's still there when I get back. Oh, check this out. 
there are very few instances where I see a cop and I'm like, hey, that actually makes me feel better. But I think my chances of having stuff stolen are greatly diminished if people are able to see a cop scoop in the loop. Check it out, Walmart has crazy fast upload speeds. Oh, it's over 100 megabits per second. I think I'm gonna be uploading this video in 4K. I just wanna give this Walmart a shout out for having their baby formula not locked behind a cage. Like they're not subtly calling us all thieves. I like that. Oof, I wish I had a microwave. We are doing this again. The Spanish rice is the best kind of rice. Oh, check it out, Walmart is selling all of this chicken for like less than $8. This is our shopping spree, we got some sugar-free things, we got some chicken, some pies, some rice, and a drink. These things are pretty good. They're like Swedish fish, but they've got way less sugar. And these pies are great because they're only like 74 cents. Cool, cool, cool. What do you guys think the chances are my solar panel is still there? Let's find out. <laughs> Another cool perk about Walmart having such fast Wi-Fi means that I get to film more things. I don't need to go to bed as early because typically I've been having to like stop these at 8 p.m just so I could edit it and it takes like two hours to upload them. I'll probably have this uploaded in like 10 minutes, which means you guys get more content. Ha ha ha, fuck yeah. Now I'm going to eat some of this chicken while I watch YouTube. Yeah, this whole thing was less than $8. How cool is that? I'm hesitant to touch my camera because my fingers are all greasy now. So I actually considered filming more and just like filming like my nighttime routine, but I am just gonna watch YouTube. I'm enjoying myself. I don't wanna have to think about like filming stuff. So I'm gonna call it a night. See you guys tomorrow, I guess.